Welcome. So what I'd like to do in this equation uh, is show you how to graph this exponential function. And here we have it written as an equation. And remember to do this, what we want to do is we're going to want to graph the parent graph and then graph the transformation. But before I get to graphing the parent graph, we need to understand what transformation do we have here. And since I'm adding a 2 outside the function, I know I'm going to be shifting my graph up 2 units. OK? So now what I need to do is, is go into uh, graphing the parent graph. Now, what I have here is 1 half times 4 raised to the x. Now, when we graph something that's just in the form of y equals b to the x, we know that the graph is always going to have a y-intercept at 0, 1 and go and look like this. However, when we graph y equals a times b to the x, that's going to alter our y-intercept. So we need to make sure that we plug in our table values. Now, when applying the table values, I'm still going to use my same values that I've used before. Um, because remember, here I have my point, which is 0, 1. And then my next point is 1, b. So if I plug in uh, 1, I know that I'm going to get out b. But that's only when it's in the form of b to the x. But my two points I notice for x are still going to be 0, 1. I'm going to want to use those points again. So by creating my, my table here, I have an x and a y coordinate. And I'm just simply going to plug in the points for 0 and 1. Now, and I plug 0 into this equation, 4 raised to the 0 power is 1. But 1 times 1 half is just 1 half. So you can see that now my y-intercept has changed from 1 down to 1 half. And when I put in a 1, 4 to the first power is 4 times 1 half is 2. So now, go ahead and graphing this. When I go and graph this, I go 0, not to 1, but 0 to 1 half, and over 1, up 2. All right. So therefore, that's my uh, original. Now, that's my parent graph, but that does not contain the shifting of uh, the graph up two units. So if I was going to take this graph and shift it up two units, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm adding two values to my y coordinates. So therefore, my new table my new table is going to be at 0. 2 and a half, and at, at 1, 4. Parent conference, we need Pamela Chafin, James Hellett, Mark Sessions, and Michael Hodgkins. Please report to guidance. OK, so now I'm going to go ahead and plot these new chords. So I'm going to go over 0, up 2 and a half. And 1 over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, now the main important thing now, before I even get to graphing this, there's a couple things we need to remember. Going back from my parent graph, I need to understand that my domain of this is going to be all real numbers. And that my range is going to be from 0 to infinity. And I also have an asymptote that my graph is approaching that is at y equals 0. But now, if I've taken this graph and I've shifted my graph up two units, I now have my asymptote has been shifted up to units as well. So now I have an asymptote at y equals 2. So that's going to affect what my graph is going to look like because my graph is now going to approach 2 and then be shot back up. All right? And that's also going to affect my range, whereas now here you notice that my, my values of my graph do not go below 0. But here, my range, they don't go below 0, but they also don't go below positive 2. So my range is from 2 to infinity, but my domain is not affected, and my domain is from negative infinity to infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an exponential function. Thanks.